Well, it is time to get those phones out and open up your camera because we have a QR code coming your way today on Design Time with Tri-City Furniture. You can scan the code right on your screen as you watch to get linked directly to more information about today's topic. Check it out. Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time for Design Time. We are so excited. We're here with Kathy Kilborn at Tri-City Furniture in Auburn. Thank you for having us here. Thank you for coming. Of course. We're talking about lighting and light bulbs today. So do all table lamps recommend a regular base lamp? Well, typically. A bulb. Yeah, yeah, a typical bulb. Um, when we call it regular, it's this larger kind of right. base. And most lamps today are actually going to use that size so but it's important to know because some lamps will use a different kind of a bulb that wouldn't be maybe easily gotten at your local store so we always want to consider that normal size base Tell us, Kathy, what are CFL bulbs? Well, there's so many light bulb changes. Yes. I, I thought the incandescent bulbs were going to go away. We needed more efficient lighting. Remember, we had these with the smoke glass, and now we can get them with the clear glass. And But they're still there. CFLs actually came out because they're more efficient. Uh, the problem with them is getting rid of them because they do have some mercury in them them. Oh. Another issue that I've seen, and this one's a little more open, but some of them actually are closed and things can fall in there and sit, bugs, for instance, mm. and they could eventually catch it on fire. So there are some issues with the CFLs. Most of the time is getting rid of them because you don't want to just throw them away with that mercury. So that has become a little bit more of a problem. But again, they're more efficient, less costly to operate than the incandescent bulb. So tell us about the brightness of a light that a bulb gives. Yes, well, it, with the CFLs, one thing that people didn't like is when you turned it on, it took time for it to warm up and get brighter. And they they come in different brightnesses of white and yellow. And so we have always had, typically with a regular bulb, a little softer light. If you remember when you're buying them, they were called soft light. Yes. But they actually make the space and the color colors look better. With the newer bulbs, the LEDs, and I would say these are probably one of the best choices today because again you can get them in the soft light, the bright white, but they are so efficient and they cost very little to operate and they last forever. Mm. So, and I do think you can actually get them now in three ways, but again, buy the one you want to use because most of the time that's what you're going to want. Kathy, what else should we consider when we are buying light bulbs? Well, the important thing with light bulbs and wattages, all of that, right. is if you're using incandescent or halogen, those are another style, but they would get hot. So it's really important that your lampshade is large enough oh. because if your bulb gets hot and that's why a lot of times you have a hard time putting a bulb right. into uh, a harp because you're trying to put in something that's bigger than should be in there especially if that shade is quite small on the side of a lamp, it will usually have a tag and it'll say 60 watt or it will say 75 or 100. Yeah. And many of these bulbs now, the wattage is actually maybe 14 watts, mm. but gives you the brightness of the 100. So, and these aren't hot. So there's a little bit less issue with these, but make sure that it is the right kind of wattage for the lamp. Not only is the shade an issue, but sometimes the electrical wiring is only rated for a certain amount of watts. And especially in imported lamps, you will find that they're much lighter weight cords. So it can be a fire hazard. Oh, I had no idea. There's so a lot more to options. a lamp yes. and light bulbs than what you think. We don't want right. to just buy an inexpensive bulb because it's inexpensive. LEDs have really come down in price and they're really something you're going to put in your lamp and just forget about it because it'll last you a really and long time. More, 
you have to worry about fire hazards too. You're talking and not as well. much because these are not hot. I was going to show also this was a, a smaller, same size base, yeah. but a much smaller bulb. It's okay. going to be lower wattage, but it sometimes fits in those lamps with the small shades. So oh. make sure you don't put too large of a bulb, especially if you're using incandescent okay. to because it's going to be hot. You know, if you turn it off and try to take it out, you can't touch the glass. It's too hot. Oh, wow. Great information. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. And thank you for watching this edition of Design Time.